Hey everyone, this is Ryan at Flat Creek Plant Farm. Today I'm, I'm here to show you a tragedy. This is an azalea I planted last fall. It's a Gerard's. I, I really love that series. It's an older variety, so it only blooms in the spring, but uh, they're evergreen and they just are real bloom factories when they bloom. So, I, you know, what happens with these rebloomers is you, you lose some, it seems like you lose some flower power. So in exchange for the added bloom season of bloom, you kind of lose out on this spectacular all at once show. And I think in some ways it's, it can be worth it. And then in some ways you, I, I just kind of really appreciate having that one really spectacular season. But anyways, I'm getting ahead uh, away from myself. This is a uh, Renee Michelle. And I knew better than to plant this because this happens every time um, the deer just, you know, go crazy. So um, learn from my mistakes. Uh, you know, I love azaleas, but they are just deer magnets. Here I'm going to show you right next to it, a rhododendron. Same story, decimated. Um, you know, arguably rhododendrons are a little less prone to the deer, but, uh, as you can see, opportunistic. And then further down the line, we've got some, um, uh, star and, uh, the anise plant. Geez, I can't think of it right now, but star, star flower Scorpio is the, uh, cultivar. They did just fine. The deer don't seem to mess with that. And then further up, it looks like a little less reachable, is a another roadie that has escaped fairly unscathed. I think I can see a couple nibbles, but it must have been hard to get to. So um, there you have it, all in the one area. There's in a lot of ways with these plants, if you can tuck them away and make them hard to reach, uh, for the deer that makes a big difference. So thanks so much. Uh, appreciate you watching and have a great, a great day. Thank you.